Hi and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to learn about the AWS S3 default encryption mechanism, uh, which is also called as a SSE or server side encryption. So default encry encryption um, the feature of uh, S3 is not uh, something that you get it uh, by default enable. Uh, this is on demand service. So uh, wherever your data needs to be protected while it is at uh, the rest inside the storage of the s3 uh, if it has to be protected then you can enable and use it so in the ssc category you have uh, two different uh, flavors one is aes 256 which is also known as uh, ssc s3 and uh, the other one is uh, aws kms which is also known as sse kms uh, the difference between two is uh, SSE S3 is fully managed by S3. The key is managed by S3. Uh, that means the key life cycle of the key, uh, which is used for encryption and decryption, is uh, managed 100% uh, by S3. In case of AWS uh, KMS, SSE KMS, uh, KMS is uh, another offered service by AWS, which is going to allow you to create the KMS keys and uh, then refer to that uh, while you are sending the data to be stored inside the S3 or you are requesting the data uh, from the S3 to given back. So the S3 is going to refer to the same key that you are going to point out or configure and uh, using that uh, it will do the encryption and decryption based on the operation type that you're using. So either it is a put operation or a get operation that is going to be uh, follow the key that you are going to configure. Uh, you also have a chance if you're using the REST uh, services, uh, REST APIs, or uh, if you're using a CLI, you can uh, uh, mention this specific uh, header parameter, uh, which, which is uh, Amazon server side encryption, AWS KMS key ID, uh, to point out to the specific uh, KMS key that you would like to use for that particular uh, operation so let's uh, not uh, wait anymore and uh, then start uh, doing the lab of it so i'll uh, uh, go to the aws management console that means you have to be already logged in and then uh, locate the s3 from the services uh, here we are going to create a fresh bucket to uh, uh, see this demo. So first of all, uh, I'm going to create a bucket with the name that is uh, not at all existing. So the bucket name should be unique so that uh, um, it uh, allows me to create. Uh, so I'm going to give a name as a SSC uh, demo bucket. Hope this bucket is available. Yes. And then uh, I'm going to get rid of this because I'm going to do certain operation from internet. So I need a public access. So I'm going to uh, remove those uh, block and then create a bucket. Bucket is available now. So next thing would be to uh, change the properties of uh, encryption. So default encryption uh, uh, is a disabled as of now. So I'm going to make it uh, uh, first the AES-256 and then upload a file and see that uh, um, the file will be encrypted. So we'll not be able to visually realize because uh, the AWS management console works over the internet and it has to pull out the file from the storage of S3. And uh, while my files are stored inside the S3 uh, storage, at that time the, uh, the file is going to be encrypted. So my objects are going to be encrypted uh, at the server side completely. So uh, we are interacting with the AWS uh, management console and definitely we'll get the file in a plane if we are trying to download or open it. So, but anyway, uh, the metadata will confirm if uh, what kind of algorithm is in force and uh, whether it is encrypted or not encrypted, right? So let's uh, choose the AES-256 and uh, then uh, click a button save. Uh, once it is enabled, it will uh, show you the tick mark uh, with the option we have selected. So that means uh, the default encryption is set to AES-256. Next step would be to upload some files. 
So I'm going to choose one uh, file for upload inside this bucket. I have a CSV file uh, which has a couple of uh, lines inside it, uh, which is non-sensitive data. But uh, obviously, you can think of the real-time scenario where you have uh, data which uh, which is more sensitive and uh, need to be secured. So I am going to upload this, and uh, uh, once I select this, I will be able to see the metadata informations about it, and which will tell me if the encryption is in force or is a none. So if encryption none, then uh, there is no encryption applied, but uh, the encryption right now applied is uh, AES-256. So uh, while I'm going to download this, uh, since this is not public, so this is not going to be downloaded, but uh, I can uh, make, make it public and then download it. So once I download it, I will see the content of it, and uh, that's uh, that's not uh, client side uh, encryption, right? So it's a uh, server side encryption. So client side uh, will get it plain, right? So uh, not to get confused about uh, the different uh, ways, right? So uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, go to the bucket and delete this file. And uh, once I delete it, I'm going to uh, change the encryption mechanism from the uh, SSCS3 uh, to uh, SSE AWS uh, KMS basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the AWS KMS. This is the SSE KMS which is uh, uh, going to demand for a key. One secret key is needed. So I have a couple of secret keys uh, created and I'm going to use the same. But uh, if uh, if you do not have a KMS keys, uh, KMS is a key management system uh, services, which is uh, which is another offered service by AWS. So what you can do is uh, I'm going to quickly uh, show you the KMS how uh, KMS works. So here I'll select the KMS and uh, uh, over here I'll see the one that is enabled, uh, which is enabled with this. So this is the option uh, you should use to create a, a new key if you do not have. And this is the one that is uh, available and uh, usable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose that uh, particular key from the drop down. And this is the one uh, in the in the drop down. First one uh, is the key that is valid one. So I'll save this and uh, I'll go back. So yeah, so here the things to notice is AWS KMS is in force right now. Uh, coming back to overview, I can uh, select my file once again, uh, the same one, and uh, then upload it. Um, yep, so the operation is successful. Uh, but again, uh, the things will be plain for the client and uh, server side. It's going to keep the data in an encrypted format. Uh, here, that uh, can be proven um, with the with the metadata information, which says the encryption is uh, AWS KMS, right? And uh, that's what we get it. But again, if you attempt to um, uh, download this file. Uh, by making it public, obviously you are going to see the plain version of it, right? So, uh, oh yeah. So this is another story. So you have to use the signature version of uh, uh, signature version four of uh, AWS to uh, look it uh, at the file, uh, right? Otherwise, it will not allow you to download. So this is something that you are going to. Uh, take a note of right so that's uh, um, uh, signature version 4 should be used while you are dealing with the uh, KMS uh, that's all I have uh, but uh, obviously before uh, you sign off uh, from this video uh, you must uh, delete the resources that you have clean as a best practice so that uh, uh, you are not uh, getting any bills uh, which is unwanted right so I'm going to claim for myself, which is not uh, uh, usable anymore uh, for me. I just deleted it. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you have any question or something, then uh, please uh, let me know through uh, the comments. Uh, I will be leaving you with a couple of uh, links, which uh, which is good read.
basically so uh, you can uh, go and explore about the server side en encryption concept and uh, also you might uh, be interested uh, learning the kms how kms encryption works internally so uh, this is, these are the two dif different uh, references which will help you to understand uh, the encryption concept and uh, kms encryption especially in the in the aws side so you can uh, explore them right uh, till the next video thanks uh, a lot for watching and uh, see you with the fresh one so thank you